This morning, dozens of barrels and bottles of stolen rare Kentucky bourbon have been recovered. Investigators say they busted the alleged crime ring behind the notorious 2013 liquor heist. Anna Werner is here with a story she's been following for almost two years now. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. When hundreds of bottles of extremely rare Pappy Van Winkle bourbon were stolen from a distillery in Frankfort, Kentucky, it sent many whiskey connoisseurs into a panic. Now law enforcement officials say they've arrested the man responsible, the head of a long-running syndicate that traf trafficked in whiskey and steroids. Bourbon is big business in Kentucky. There are about a million more barrels of it in the state than there are people, and none are more prized than the ones containing Pappy Van Winkle. So when even just 25 stolen bottles are found, it merits a press conference. You're looking between all the bourbon and what we have in evidence uh, that's back there, you're looking uh, in excess of $100,000 worth of bourbon right now that we've recovered. The bottles are believed to be part of the batch of more than 200 that vanished from the Buffalo Trace Distillery in 2013, a heist dubbed Pappygate. The man allegedly at the center of the crime ring is this man, Gilbert Kurtzinger. He and eight others, many of them his relatives, were busted after investigators found five barrels of bourbon in his backyard last month. Primarily what we had here was just individuals who worked at the distilleries, knew what the security precautions were, and knew how to bypass them, and took advantage of their trust. Much of the stolen bourbon investigators say was sold to people Kurtzinger knew through his softball team. Authorities also recovered several barrels of less coveted whiskey, like Wild Turkey and Russell's Reserve. Self-described whiskey nerd Clay Risen wrote the book American Whiskey, Bourbon and Rye. You look at the Pappy theft and you think, well, these were people who were just going after uh, the diamonds in the collection. And instead, they were also stealing quarters. Only about 7,000 cases of the Pappy bourbon go on sale every year and they fly off the shelves. A bottle of 23-year-old bourbon can sell for as much as $8,000 on the secondary market. The barrels are also kept in a highly secure warehouse. I'm not surprised that it was an inside job. It's not quite like robbing a bank, but it's, it's kind of like robbing a bank. Well, Kurt Singer and his alleged accomplices have been indicted on several charges, including engaging in organized crime. Their lawyers did not respond to calls from CBS this morning. Only a portion of the stolen bourbon was recovered, so whiskey lovers everywhere may still be wondering just where are the other Pappy bottles now. Have you ever had Pappy bottles? If you have it, feel free to bring it by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Mystery <laughs> continues. How Thank you. Thousands of dollars a bottle. It's crazy. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thousands, thousands. Yeah. Wow. I guess it's good stuff. Thanks, Anna.